In today's video, I'm going to be testing out something that I've been struggling with for so long and I'm ready to just come out and talk about it. I have thick thighs and they chafe. A lot. As my body has grown and changed throughout the years that I've gotten older and that I've subsequently gained weight because that's just a very normal thing that happens in your life. Stop blaming yourself for things that happen naturally. That's a whole other topic for another video. But as this has occurred, I have noticed a ton of the time when I wear dresses or when I wear shorts that aren't long enough or when I wear skirts, my thighs will chafe together to the point where like I've almost bled. And I feel like throughout the course of the time that this has gone on, I have really tried my very best to discover all different kinds of like hacks and tricks, things that will just make your thighs stop chafing. I am a huge believer in bike shorts. I'm actually to the point now where if I'm not wearing like pants or shorts themselves, I do have to leave the house in bike shorts. Today I figured it would be fun to test out a few of the top things that I found online. Figured I'd take one for the team for you guys. Hopefully you will enjoy it. Let's go ahead and jump in. On my very first adventure today, I am going to be testing out baby powder. Now a lot of people have brought this up to me in comments of my videos before. When I've talked about wearing bike shorts underneath things, people have mentioned baby powder. I also found it in a ton of articles online and I don't really think that this is going to do much of anything. I don't really feel like it's very long lasting and that it's going to work, but I'm going to try it nonetheless. I'm going to make sure that when I do this, it's going to be on my shortest errand of the day so that hopefully if I'm in a bind and I'm like out and I'm not able to get home and get my bike shorts on. Honestly, shout out to bike shorts. Like, the real one. It will be the shortest amount of time that I will have to suffer. So I am going to apply baby powder to the inside of my thighs, which is something I can confidently say I haven't done since I was an infant. I've actually never done it to myself. We will see what happens. Just got in the car. I'm leaving the house and I have to say I'm feeling like slight anxiety about leaving without my shorts. It just feels very weird. That's okay. We're doing it for the vid. We're doing it for the vid. So the first one I'm going to try while I'm sitting here in this parking lot, like while my neighbor are pulling in. I'm going to test out this baby powder. You know what every consumer loves when they buy products? Stickers. They're just like, I wish that this product had more stickers that I need to peel off. Okay, you know what? Everyone in my entire complex has just decided to pull up and park at this very moment. I don't want them to be like, why is my neighbor putting baby powder on her thighs in the middle of the parking lot? So there we go. We're doing a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Uh, I also hate the smell of baby powder, so this should be fun. I'm just gonna take a little bit, put it on the inside. Should I show you what I'm doing? Am I allowed to do that on YouTube? Am I gonna get like age restricted? Oh, I hate it. I'm really getting in there. Got it applied here. God, am I like really about to get my channel deleted over this video? I hope not. I'm now going to head into the post office to put all of these Poshmark orders in the mail and I will check back in with you guys after. I'm literally just walking out of the post office right now and I can already majorly feel some chafing happening. Also, those people next to me in that car fully had their windows open and heard everything I said. And it was actually quite warm in the post office. So in that literal 45 second span when I was walking in and out of the building, I could already definitely feel that I was getting some chafing going on, especially towards like the top. As to be expected, I mean, I don't know why I thought that this would hold water, but it just doesn't. This is definitely a fail. I mean, maybe it works for some of you guys if you have like very light chafing, but if you're like me, it might not be the best option. And by no means am I like extremely uncomfortable. I would still be able to like go about and do my errands, but like if I was doing a lot of walking, I definitely wouldn't be able to. So something to keep in mind. The next one I am going to be trying out is a little bit of a short errand as well. So hopefully again, there will be minimal suffering. You guys will know before I do. And the next one we are going to try is deodorant. Now, this is just my regular deodorant I use. I don't know if there's a specific kind you're supposed to use, but a lot of you guys have recommended trying this out. I'm kind of skeptical about this one, I'm not gonna lie, but we'll see what happens. So I'm now going to be trying the deodorant hack. Now I, again, have skepticism naturally, just because I know how bad the chafing has gotten for me before, but luckily I am testing these on like short, I'm not gonna like, you know, injure myself in the process. Because if you've had like chafing rash before, you know it is no joke, like I have literally cried over it before. Maybe that makes this not like thorough research, I don't honestly know, but we're gonna test it out and put some freaking deodorant that was just on my armpits, on my inner thighs, what is my life? And then I'm going to go into Target, make a couple returns, walk around, just kind of like give it a, a test run. I am never opposed to walking around Target. Let me tell you that right now. So I'm just gonna roll it up here and we're gonna go for it. 
going for it now you can't really see anything so i think i'm good i'm just gonna apply it like literally everywhere i have to say this is a very strange sensation i don't know how i feel about it literally just stepped out of the car i have to do an immediate check-in it has been no less than 15 seconds and i hate the way it feels i absolutely hate it it feels like my thighs are sweating and it feels like it's making them chafe against each other i don't know i'm not feeling great about this but we'll see i hate this 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 Okay, update. It's not as bad as I thought. Like it's definitely still friction, but it's not like painful like it would be if you were sweaty or like if there were any kind of like natural chafing that would occur, but definitely they're still rubbing together, but it's not like unbearable. I don't know how to explain it. So I definitely wouldn't write this one off. Like if you were in a pinch, like it's definitely rubbing. Let me tell you but it hasn't gotten painful so like the sensation is similar like in the rubbing together but like the pain isn't associated with it do you know what i mean like that thin skin rubbing together i don't know how to explain it so i don't want to like say that this is a complete fail but i also don't want to say that this is like perfect either there's definitely room for improvement it's not my favorite but does it work kind of next we're gonna get a little crafty here and we are going to try out a diy before i get into my opinions about it i am going to be making some diy thigh chafing bands these were recommended online you take a pair of tights and you basically cut like these little bands that you can put on your thighs and you can adjust them whenever there's chafing i don't really understand understand the point of this but I'm going to try it out nonetheless because that's what I do for you guys I love you maybe if you're wearing something that you don't feel comfortable wearing bike shorts underneath and you just want to have something like just on your legs freely like not attached to your waist maybe this might be a good option I was gonna say maybe it might be cheaper but I think these tights were like eight dollars and you can definitely find bike shorts for that same price but either way you might prefer the feeling of the material a little bit better so I'm gonna try it out I've got my tights here these were the cheapest pair that I could find at Target I got like the thickest ones possible because it seems to me like you would want the thickest ones possible for them to prevent chafing. Otherwise, it's like, what's the point? Speaking from experience, I know that I chafe holes through things like so quickly, like cheap legging. I get like bunches and pilling in between the legs of like my sweatpants and stuff like that. So I figured I would get the thickest ones possible. So hopefully they will last. I guess basically what you do is you just cut and then you slap them on around your legs. I don't know how this works works this width that looks about right I don't, know. I don't know how these are gonna fit around my thighs these tiny little things but we're gonna try they are pretty stretchy okay actually I'm not really that mad at this so they stretch out really wide sorry if you see my underwear that's just part of life okay so you just slide it on like this okay I don't think I've ever put something on my body without falling TBH. I mean, before I pull it down, you can see here that I just have my two little bands. I have to say, I don't really feel like these would stay. Like, I feel like you'd be constantly messing with them. Update. It has been approximately two minutes, and this is already what we're looking at here. They've already rolled up. I've just been walking around normally, haven't been adjusting them. Also, really sorry for that graphic close-up, but like, I had to show you. So I'm gonna try to not touch them anymore and make my lunch and then I will check in with you guys after. But so far, it doesn't seem promising. They just have nothing to like hold on to, so they're naturally gonna like roll into themselves. It's been about 10, 15 minutes since the last time I checked in. I haven't touched anything on my thighs. This is what we're looking at. So they've already pushed their way down even like under my dress or like out from under it or whatever. They're making their way down my thighs and it's just not a good look. It's not uh, my favorite thing in the entire world. And also if you can't see without me showing you too terribly much, my thighs are still chafing together. So it's basically just pushed them down and made it so that my thighs can like freely chafe again. So I would have to say that this one doesn't work for me. Bike shorts, number one. You just can't get me to change my mind, but at least I tried. And last but not least, I am going to be trying out the top thing that I see on Instagram, all over social media, and that is the Mega Babe Thigh Rescue Anti-Chafe Stick with aloe, pomegranate, and grapeseed oil. Now this is a product that is 
created by a female, which is bomb and amazing. I love supporting female companies, but also this is created by a woman who has basically created her brand around similar things that I like to do. And so I love that about her. Her name is Katie. If you guys want to follow her on Instagram, I'll link her down below. I have high hopes about this. So I am the most excited to try this one. We are going to bust it out and then take Layla on a walk and see what happens. And now we have the one that I'm looking forward to the most. Ooh, it's like really buttery. Hmm, it smells really good. Okay, so before I take Layla on our W-A-L-K, I can't say what it is because she's right there and she'll get really excited. I'm going to, you know, do, do the deal. So here we go. I was going to wait until I got outside to do this, but then I thought my neighbors have just, I've put them through enough today. So it glides on really smooth. I don't know how much I'm supposed to put, but I think I'm overdoing it. It does have a really similar feeling to the deodorant. I'm not going to lie. We're about, I would say, two minutes into our walk, and honestly, you can definitely feel your thighs rubbing together, but it's not painful. So they're not like chafing as much, I guess, but they're still rubbing together, like just as much as they normally would, but it's just not painful. It's now been about 10 to 12 minutes into our walk, and I have to say, I am experiencing, sorry about all the sun flare, oh my god, it's so sunny today. I'm sweating. I am noticing a little bit of chafing. Maybe not necessarily chafing, but just like all of the friction. <laughs> I am a little bit uncomfortable, so overall I would say it's definitely a step above deodorant, so highly recommend it for that. If that's what you use, check out this stuff for sure, but definitely not gonna call it a fail. Definitely not gonna call it a fail by any means, but I just gotta stick to what I know. So overall, I've given you guys a few different options of thigh chafing remedies. Hopefully some of these work for you. If they worked differently for you than they worked for me, you will definitely have to let me know. I'm so curious. If you have another remedy or hack or something that I didn't mention in this video, also leave it in the comments below. I'd love to try more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't before. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.